I'm new to the insurance industry. Yeah. To, to, to the insurance. Not to be an entrepreneur. Just to be. An, not yeah, to yeah, be yeah. an entrepreneur. I want to make a hundred grand this year. Walk us through a schedule and a system that you would tell them follow this and you will be able to hit that six figure year you're looking for. Yeah, for sure. So um, definitely it's something that's possible. You know, we've, we've done it and, and you know, it's, it's mm -hmm. so one of the big things that I would share with everybody and, you know, tell my secrets if you would. But one of the big things that's been dr dramatic in our business is to, um, I'll start at the top, right? One, you got to work. So you, if, if you get leads, etc., figure out how many dials you need to make and what does that conversion look like so if you make dials or etc that's you know the game plan but one thing I would tell people is don't spend as much time doing that as doing some of the other things too and mixing it up so one of the dramatic things that happen in our business is we begin to get a lot of referrals because I identified a niche market okay so if you're watching this and you're trying to get into the industry is is find out what is a niche market that you can serve. There's kind of a, a saying that says that there's riches in the niches. Yes. Okay. So if you can find out one market or two markets, etc., that you can really serve, really serve well, and begin to directly market to those individuals, you will watch your income triple, quadruple, whatever it may be, without you having to spend as much time doing the boring work. But I will just be honest with you, in order to make money, it takes money. Oh, of course. You have to have money to market. You have to have money if you're going to sponsor events, if you're going to do different things like that. So one of the things is, of course, you have to get money generating. And sometimes that is making the phone calls, etc. So don't be scared to do those things, but then make sure that you get... I always tell people the, the most valuable asset you have is your time, okay? Mm -hmm. I can lose 20 grand tomorrow and get 20 grand back next cool. week. If I lose an hour, I can't get an hour back Done. though, okay? So figure out right now in your schedule when exactly you are going to make phone calls, mm -hmm. when exactly you are gonna prospect to that niche market, and how you're gonna get a little bit creative to service that niche market, and I believe that that can really enhance and you can jump in and, pro and propel yourself a lot quicker than just being the phone call guy. Nothing wrong with that. I, I got friends that make millions making phone calls. Okay. <laughs> you know, so yeah. it, yeah. but it's figuring out how you can do some of those things. When you talk about my business, what Kai the Insurance Guy's business looks like is we've identified a niche market, we serve that niche market well, and we get a lot of referrals from that market. Oh, hands down. And so really what you're saying, if I can put it you know, in, into a context, is Please. you're saying get away from just being the guy that's trying to catch the bees with the net yeah. and find out how you can put honey on a stick, have the bees come to you. Well, I, I read this, uh, one of our like VPs told me this story once and I, it was like a game changer. He was saying there was two guys and they were on an island and every day they would wake up and have to walk three miles with a bucket to go get water. So they would go go get water, come back, go get water, come back. And of course it was this slow process because every day they had to go get the water and come back. And one day the second guy, he's watching the other guy keep going back and get the water, keep going back and get the water. And the second guy starts, he did, the other guy's making fun of him. He's like, I'm getting ahead of you. I'm getting more gallons of water coming back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And this guy was building a tunnel mm. that ran right to the water and the water leaked back into his side of the village. So what happened, he spent some time building something out that allowed the water to flow right to him. So if I'm talking to a new agent or I'm talking to anybody is figure out how you can get your phone to ring. Okay. Not always figuring out how you can go every day, every day, every day, but how can you become so known that it flows to you? And it takes, it's funny because it takes a little bit of, of business maturity and ownership to understand that even, even though you're building something that one, you're not gonna have the instant gratification and two, like that guy, he was building under where he could, where no one can right. see what he was building. And so there needs to be, your ego needs to be in check yeah. to not receive the applause from the people saying, hey, you're doing a great job yeah. because you're really building something under pretty much, you, you know. it on the head. And, and even for us this year, it's this is a perfect example. So up until the last few months of the year, when my water again started flowing, it looked almost like, hey, your numbers are slipping this year. Mm. And I was like, I had to mentally get myself in check that your numbers are going to look really weird at first because they're so used to you being here, being here, yeah. being here, being here. And then it's like, now you're in this, you know, this should be like your, your year to take it all. Why are your numbers dropping? And it was because I got a lot smarter and we said, we're building this thing. And then what happened is the, the dam broke, if you would. Yes. And at the end of the year, you know, the numbers and, oh, and yeah. boom. Yeah. And it was like. And now I have people saying like, how'd you do that? 
And it's like, yes. well, now we built something. But the great thing is now next year or this year, I should say, we're early. Sorry, you know, in, yeah. in this year. So we're, we're recording this in the first month of 2020. So just to put that into perspective, all right, guys? Yeah, so, the, you know, now this year, it should just flow all year. Okay. And we're continuing the service. We're making the tunnel wider, if you would. You know, well, we're, we're letting, now the water is just flowing. So yeah. I, I, I mean, it, you know, it's crazy how our business, what our business has done. But, you know, in the last few months mm -hmm. of the year, I didn't even have to pick my phone up. The phone wow. just rang. And it just it just rings all day. It's I had to the foundation that you built. Yeah. And so so far we have yes, you hit the phones, but you eventually want to come off of the phones because that is a grind. I know what that's like. Yeah. Um, secondly, you want to make sure that you get into a niche market, identify whatever that is in your particular market, whatever you feel is being underserved. Yeah. Okay. That way they're coming to you kind of like what he just mentioned. 100%. All right. And so if you can give one final tip on making six figures, yeah. you know, as, as an insurance agent, what would it be? Aim higher than what you even want to make. Tell us about that. Okay. So I used to think, you know, when I was making it, you know, I, I joke, and it, but it's the truth. When I was making $1,600 a month, you know, somehow I was surviving. And yeah. now we make what we make. But at that time in my life, a great goal would have been... I just want to make a hundred thousand dollars. That would be incredible. It's like the pinnacle. It's it, it's yeah. this, it's the benchmark, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And and Irvin and earlier, yeah. success is defined wherever you want. If you want to make yeah. fifty, yes. it doesn't like we yeah. we love you more. I don't. It, we're, we're, but, we'll still hang out with so you. So one hundred, yeah, yeah, you yeah, can yeah. sit with us. Yeah, yeah. It's not. I'm not that crew. But you know, it's kind of like in the entrepreneurial world, a hundred grand is somehow like this. Like it's the benchmark. If I don't you know, know why. But. Yeah. So in my head, I was like, if I can do that. That would be incredible. Okay. So that's what I aimed for my first year in the business. And I came, I was only in the business for like six months and we came a, a tiny bit short of that. That was the first six months. And it was like, okay, so when you aim for stuff, normally you get what you aim for. And that was, you, your, that was your first six months in the business? Yeah. Okay. So you, you know, you kind of get what you aim for. And then I kind of had a mental like, whoa, what are you doing? And I started seeing some of the other numbers, seeing what I, you know, guys that I, you know, I look up to were making and et cetera. And it was like, aim extremely mm. high. So Grant Cardone often talks about like 10X and, yes. and et cetera, right? And it's what I've learned though, and there's a quote, and I want to say it's Les Brown and I might be wrong, but it's like, if you aim for the, the moon, at least you'll land yeah, somewhere, even if you land somewhere in the stars, I right? I said that in it, a song somewhere. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. so, but, it's kind of it's it's real though because if, real. if this year I go out and say we're gonna make two million, and you land somewhere around eight hundred and ninety thousand, or you land somewhere around one point five million, you probably did more than what you yes. what you were expecting, yeah. right? So I, I I've learned to put my my aim very high, and I push super hard to get to that number, and I exceed whatever the number that, you know, what I did before, I normally double it or whatever it may yes. be. And so that's one thing I always tell people is aim bigger, like just think bigger. You know, I, I think a lot of individuals, they limit themselves. And if there's one thing I've learned about manifestation and the law of attraction, you get exactly what you think about all the time. If you think about a hundred grand, a hundred grand, a hundred grand, a hundred grand, you're gonna make a hundred grand. You're gonna make a hundred grand. If you think about 500, you're gonna make five. Yeah. If you think about a million, you're gonna make a million. Oh, yeah. So, you know, whatever that number is, really think about it. Think about how you can get people to turn that far it and send to you there's nothing if when your name starts getting spread in a community or whatever or even if it's just whatever it may be you want to just reverse engineer that and get your phone ringing and think bigger you got to think bigger if you 10x it if you would and I don't mean to steal that from Grant yeah. but you know if you 10x you'll you'll double whatever you probably your real goal probably is and so how long did it take you to for you to be able to actually put that into plan. So when did you actually start working that plan? So two two years ago, okay. going into that year, I was like, I sat down with one of my mentors and you know I looked at what he made that year okay. and I looked at what I made that year. Made you cry a little bit. One hundred percent drove home a little slow. Yeah, and that's I was fine. I was that's like fine. You know, listening to R&B the whole ride home. Like, <laughs> wow, but you know, I was you know I didn't beat myself up too much, but I immediately was like, you gotta change. Like I went home and literally drew a line through my goals, and I was like. Mm -hmm. You can do more. And I think really that's all it is. It's it's an effort thing. It's it's not even that you have to exert. It's just what you're thinking about. I'm, I've learned that to the point of like, we did this 12 week year thing and I, you know, you know yeah. kind of about that and et cetera. And man, I'm telling you when you, you know, I, we made what we made in a year, almost in a month, you know, oh, and God. it's like, you just, you just think about it different and you're like, I'm going to go for this. And your body like naturally does what you're thinking about. Did you stop there? No, of course not. Okay, so 
when you made what you made that month, you obviously made what you made in a year in a month. Yeah. Okay. Did you go out and splurge? No. Did you go out and show it off? Where did most of that, obviously after paying Uncle Sam, where did most of that go back into? <laughs> <laughs> we're trying, we're trying, <laughs> trying to make sure I don't get that mess up. <laughs> right? Uncle Sam got his, IRS. <laughs> Uncle Sam got paid. And after Sam, Uncle Sam got, got paid, paid what did. did Kai do to be able to take his business from here to here? We were just talking about it. Every Everything's gone back into the business. <laughs> okay. And... It, you know, I've been listening a lot to um, Elon Musk, and, mm. and, and uh, Elon talks about how, like, PayPal sells, and he gets, like, $110 million, and then puts every dime into, you know, funding Tesla. And yeah, he doesn't even, he, he doesn't, he doesn't even see that. He doesn't even, it's like he's living paycheck to paycheck. I was listening to Damon John the other day on how I built this, the podcast, and he's like, you know, he actually signed his first deal with FUBU you know, stayed, was still staying at his mom's house, working his job at Red Lobster, just so he could continue to fund the business. Wow. And I think what most people make a mistake of is they get their first like big break or they make like their first six figures and then they're like, oh, okay, I'm comfortable. Yeah. And for us, you know, I, you know what my personal goal is in life and yeah. it's just, every dime that we made I mean I, I, I took my mom to New York that's an annual thing and I won't I won't stop spending on that that's mm -hmm. mom you know you yeah. know, that's a I don't know how much time I'll have on earth with you know so those things matter but I still am driving you know the car I bought when I was started making money and I don't plan on going and buying a, a Rolls next week just mm -hmm. because I want to grow this business to the place of it you know it we're, we're just unreal and, yeah. and so every dime for the most part, you know, of course, pay my, my bills and every dime I put back into the business. Mm -hmm. Of course, you know, I have an emergency fund, I have a savings account, investments, all that, but everything I'm dumping back in the business, you know, where I believe money attracts money, you know, so. I, how many, how many, speaking on, on, on investing back in your business, yeah. you're not a solo guy anymore, you've built out a team. How many people do you plan on bringing on in the, in the next 12, 12 months? So. Well, that's something that we are actually just in full transparency still evaluating you know I have two full-time assistants I have you know two people who work for me and um, we're looking at how big we're gonna need to grow I, I wouldn't I wouldn't doubt our team being you know five six seven this year if okay. I stay as a one man if I switch to a multi agency or a multi multi agent so I mean we team. could a big team okay we could you know we could probably easily get a 50 or 100 man team running um, so I'm about to drop the actual name for that it just kind of came to me do it so bro. you know how you don't ask Kylie the insurance guy yeah for I sure. think at this point and you know you guys can maybe drop it in the comments down below Jeez. I think he should go if you're gonna build out that agency just Kai and company yeah I mean why not Wow sounds awesome Royalty checks, boys. Oh man! Royalty yeah, we're gonna here. sign it up right after this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's perpetuity after this. 